the footy coach. Quick video on what was a good win for Liverpool extending their lead at the top of the Premier League, albeit at possibly a big cost. First half, Curtis Jones went off with what looked like an ankle injury and Diego Jota was stretched off with a knee injury. Nunes also went off at half time with a muscle complaint, but all three have been immense in the past month or so. Michael Oliver's refereeing was awful and with the recent stats showing Liverpool have been on the end of 20% of the entire league's wrong refereeing and VAR decisions, it's getting close to conspiracy talk, but we'll get to that later. I think Liverpool didn't defend that well in the first half, Endo kept losing runners and Moipe kept exploiting the space he was leaving. Brentford had some chances but didn't really test Kelleher despite what TNT Sports had us all believing. Bradley and Jota had some big chances in that first half, forcing three good saves from Flecken. That goal from Nunes was audacious, purely because he clipped it over a goalkeeper that was stood tall. Nunes gets some weird grief in the media and from fans but he's already an elite striker. All the pundits who were strikers, Lineker, Wright, Shearer, Crouch, they all love him. He's dangerous. He creates chances and scores goals. So what if he misses chances? That's the norm for strikers. Even more so for the strikers that create a lot of chances for themselves. In the second half, they powered on and played some beautiful football at times. Mo Salah came on at half time and did Mo Salah things. He's the best player in the league. Doesn't just score a lot of goals, he assists a hell of a lot too. His goal was immense. The strength he showed finished, kind of in contrast to the forward on the other side who threw himself to the floor with nearly every contact. A good win, probably annoyed they conceded the goal. Kelleher subbed well for Allison again. Don't think this guy should be a number two goalkeeper. He's good enough to be starting for a Premier League club. And obviously the injuries are going to be a sore point, but they've extended their lead and got the drop on Arsenal and Man City. Connor Bradley continues to amaze. He was inverting in this game more in the second half and defended exceptionally. He'll have some bad games of course, but he's had an astronomical rise from playing in League One last season at Bolton. Right, now to the Michael Oliver situation. In that first half, Brentford had 38% possession and won 9 free kicks. Liverpool won 1 free kick despite having 62% possession. Challenge on Curtis Jones wasn't given as a foul. TNT Sports tried telling us it was his landing that got him injured, but it was clear from the original view that it was a foul and Nordgaard studs had scraped down his ankle. So Oliver probably thinking he was still in the UAE, didn't bother pulling it up. Diego Jota got kneed in the chest by Nordgaard, who then lands on his knee, causing it to bend in. Inwards. Again, this wasn't given as a foul. Earlier, Jota is wrestled down in the box. VAR says both were holding. The next corner, Oliver gives a foul to Brentford. I presume both holding wasn't in play then. Ivan Tony, he may be a good player, got a questionable character, but he was throwing himself to the floor all game. Lots of little brushes with Brentford players were given as fouls. This was just negligent refereeing, which in turn led to Brentford being more aggressive because they knew they were getting away with it, whilst Liverpool, on the other hand, knew every challenge made by them could possibly be a foul. There was a couple of breakaways that were stopped because because Oliver gave a foul to Brentford when there wasn't a foul. I'm not sure what these referees think sometimes. They're supposed to be refereeing fairly and ensuring players don't get injured. Later on, Tony and Diaz possibly could have also got penalties. So it's just really weird at this point and considering the consistency of decision making that's meant that Liverpool have lost around 9 to 12 points due to bad refereeing decision, it leads it open to conspiracy theories. At the end of the game, Liverpool have committed 18 fouls to Brentford's four. Again, it's just silly really. That's all from today. As always, please do like and subscribe and check out my other videos. Thank you for watching.